Hi Karen, it's Roberta Stevens here, candidate for ALA president and a staff member from the Library of Congress. I want to respond to your question about how far I would personally go to enforce the ALA policies for equal uh, employment opportunities and how I would explain the shortfalls between policies and implementation. I read through all of the policies that you talked about in your YouTube question and I want to address those. Karen, I personally have a stake in this question and answering it because I had a very, very close friend, a member of ALA, who died unexpectedly. And his partner did not have any rights to the property or even to items that were of sentimental value to the two of them. So I am equally concerned with seeing the laws changed. However, ALA, I want to state, ALA is committed to equality of opportunity regardless of race, color, creed, and sexual orientation, and the ALA policy encourages libraries to do the same. You talked about two states that are the only two that um, allow same-sex marriage, and those, of course, are Massachusetts and Connecticut, and I guess my question to you is, do you, are you asking that we limit conferences, division, annual, midwinter meetings, strictly to those two states, I think that you would have to agree that that would be too confining. On the other hand, there are 20 states in D.C. as well that ban sexual orientation discrimination, and there are 13 that outlaw discrimination based on gender identity or expression. I think we all just have to do the best we can and work together to see the laws change so that there is not only equal employment opportunity, but there is an opportunity for the sharing of property as well. So thank you for your question.